Asleep in the arms of Jesus. I guess Jesus has a lot of arms. This is a good spot. So should we uh, take a check and see what's going on in my magic bag of tricks? Oh, did you, you brought things? I did. Okay. Hello. Hi. Who's in this space right now? No, like a physical lake. Do oh. you know how fake that is? Well, where did she get that, Amazon? Yes. Pulling up on you, man. Put some respect on my name. You already know what it is. Put some respect on my name. 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 Oh, brother, this guy stinks! What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Vince and today we are back with another reaction. Today we're reacting to this TikToker believe she's dating a ghost. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I wish my sister would. Oh! Listen to me here. You live in the same house as this lady, and she in the next room playing with demons? Huh? I'm good on that. I'm good on that. I don't care how much she said that ghost love her. He don't really love me either. He gonna kill me. And you. He's dangerous, bro. No, I'm not playing with no demons. I don't want to see no candles. I don't want to see no cars. I don't want to see no Ouija board. I don't want to see nothing demonic. What is that? I'm not playing with that. I've seen scary movies. Bruh. Them ghosts are not to be played with. They pick you up, throw you around the room, and slam you. Wow. There's nothing you can do about it either. What, you gonna hit air? What, what, what you throwing punches at? No, your punch is phasing right through them. Listen to me. I'm not fighting a ghost. Period. <laughs> This is just a lose-lose scenario for the viewers, for us. It's a lose-lose. You leave a comment, and the ghost might be real. He coming to your house and knocking you off. You know? Oh. <laughs> you scroll on TikTok, scroll past their video, get interested for a second. You watch the video, you possess. What? Come on now, it's a lose-lose. As long as we watching it, we losing. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch it. So, we just going to get into this video and see this talk to her TikTok. Wow. It's that type of day, huh? I guess some snacks are really getting to me. My brain is jumbled up. I couldn't say TikToker. Bruh. Time for another one. Oh. This TikToker believes she's dating a ghost, so let's get into it. Let's go. I've been judged before because I am also in a relationship with a ghost. His name is Rupert. He was a Revolutionary War soldier. He is originally from Wales, and when I met him, he was wearing a red coat. Well guys, it's time to get spooky. Today we are looking at a situation so goofy that you'd think it came out of South Park or something, but <laughs> unfortunately, I can confirm it's real. Surprisingly enough, now that I'm really thinking about it, we have covered quite a few situations on this channel where a person is in a relationship with something or someone that is a little bit out of the ordinary. This includes that one guy who exclusively dated grandmas, all of the dog girl relationships we've seen, that yeah. one lady who dates the dolls, and many more. Well, today we get to add one more bullet point to our weird relationship commentary resume. Ghost. This is Rebecca the Ghost Guide, a TikToker who is in a relationship not only with a human woman, but also a ghost. What? Because, yeah. Do y'all, like, listen to me. Like, do you know how crazy you gotta be to fake something like this? Like, you know darn well in your brain that you know you're lying to the rest of the world, but you still try to push on everybody that you believe it and that you know it's real. Like, that's some next level psychopath. You go to sleep and be like, oh, 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 uh, Joseph, that's you? Oh, I feel your presence. What? There's nobody even around. Who are you faking for? Like, I wish I wish I would be the, the human girlfriend in this situation and wake up in the middle of the night and see her talking to Joseph. Oh my God, this lady is crazy. I have to go. It's going to be one of those. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be one of those. Why the fuck not? Now, Rebecca here is a TikToker who has sort of gone viral for talking about her relationship with this ghost. And just like they have done thousands of times over the years, the second they sniff an ounce of virality, the YouTube channel truly jumped all over it. And they did a little interview slash documentary style video where they interviewed Rebecca, her human partner, and, uh, you know the ghost. So today I figured, you know what, why not? It's been a while since we've looked at one of these strange relationship videos and they always seem to be pretty good fun, so here we are. So turn off the lights, light a candle, and get ready to get paranormal up in this bitch. I wish I would. Subscribe. 
personally like, speaking, I've never heard a ghost say, ooh, but I have heard a ghost say, help me get off my grave and things like that. I'm Rebecca. This is my partner, Catherine, and I have been judged before because I am also in a relationship with a ghost. His name is Rupert. All right. So no, hold on. Let this... me stop you there. Before you even say anything, emo community. Do y'all claim her? Oh my God. Wow. No, no, no. For real. Do y'all claim her? I want to kill my mom. Do y'all claim her? I'm talking to y'all because she making y'all look bad. Like, this is what I'll be talking about. This is why y'all get a bad rep. Like, this is why when you see a person that's emo, like, got them all black and that dark lipstick, and they be like, uh, 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 and got chains on and stuff, you kind of double take and be like, okay, that's kind of weird because of people like this. These ghost people doing dumb stuff or these weird people doing weird stuff. Like, you know, I'm sorry, but it's just giving y'all a bad rep. It's not a good look. I don't know if this is what y'all want to be associated with, but y'all need to come out and say something because guess what? This ain't it. This video series is love, don't judge, but uh, I'm having a hard time following that rule set. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't think stuff like that exists. So the concept of this is already pretty foreign to me. I've never heard a story of a paranormal encounter that can't be explained away by pretty normal stuff. So to take that about 4,000 steps further and say that you're not only having consistent paranormal encounters, but they're also significant enough that you've managed to start a relationship with the ghost. Right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a hard time taking any of this seriously, but I'll try. I met him in front of a local historic home. He was a Revolutionary War soldier. He is originally from Wales, and when I met him, he was wearing a red coat. Yeah, so when I first what? watched this video to see if I thought it was a video material, I was fully, I mean completely under the impression that this woman had a partner die in the past or something, and she was still trying to continue that relationship. And I So it's just random. I thought it was like that too. I thought she knew Rupert, you know what I'm saying? And he just disappeared. No, she didn't know Rupert. She was just walking down the street with this girl and just manifest to Rupert in her brain. I'm not gonna lie. Golf girl, emo girl. She got some explaining to do. Clearly, you aren't doing enough. She just manifesting something in her brain. Maybe both y'all are crazy. I wouldn't put it past y'all. I was thinking, yeah, that might be a little touchy to talk about. So imagine my happiness when I learned that it was not a past partner. It was just a random ghost that she met walking down the street, as you do. He was standing right here. I was walking past. He was following a ghost tour that I had just led. And he called out to me and he asked me if I was walking home alone. He asked if he could escort me, which kind of gave me stranger danger vibes because that had never happened to me before, especially from a ghost. But he seemed okay. He seemed what? really nice. And so I was like, all right, I'll, I'll give you five blocks. Yeah, that's that's normal. That happens to me at least once a week. You've got to respect the man's game, though. He's been dead for 250 years and does not have a <laughs> single question about where he is or what's going on. He just <laughs> immediately starts hitting on women. Rupert's a dog. We both had to learn each other's languages. He had to learn how I was psychically perceiving him with respect. He started hanging out more where I was living. He was always very clear on boundaries, on wanting consent. He never wanted to press being inside or anything like that. He started to refer to me as someone he knew when he was alive. I did a past life regression and I did know him. I knew him back in 1781. When no, you didn't. No, you did not. You are not a day over the age of 25. You do not have a past life that you know about. Nobody went into your brain and said, oh, hold on, I'm getting a sense of something. 1765, you got scammed if you paid for that. They are lying. Like, this is what I'm talking about, the world. Like, you know, you want to believe in crazy stuff like this. Well, not ghosts, particularly. I'm talking about, like, Bigfoot and stuff and monsters sometimes. But you got idiots like this, you know, pretending. Why are you pretending? If it's real, let it be real. If it's not, let it be not. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? My past life, I knew him. No, you did not. You did not know him in your past life because you did not have no past life. You were just born. And if you did have a past life, don't nobody know that. Come on. He was stationed here as a part of the 82nd Regiment. He and I used to be married when he was alive. 
I've had this cross validated from other hypnotists and psychic mediums. You see, Scam. I know I was married to this man because people who lie for a living told me that I was. Exactly. I mean, look, I'm not trying to be inconsiderate here, but come on. Nobody in this space is going to tell you that you're wrong because hypnotists and psychic mediums are professional liars. If they said, uh, no, that was not a ghost you were married to in a past life, you wouldn't go back to them. But as long as they can trick you into thinking that they can keep connecting you to this person you're supposed to love, Easy money. you giving them money. Well, the feelings weren't expected. They just sort of happened. What is your intimate and s**tful relationship like with Rupert? Mm -mm. <laughs> exactly, mm -mm. no. Rupert and I are primarily sharing emotions because of the very clear physical differences between us. I mean, yeah, I've got to imagine that it'll be kind of hard to be physically intimate when one of you exists and the other one doesn't. Yeah. This is like me saying I hooked up with the Chupacabra last night, and honestly, I think that is objectively more believable than this. He's also, stupid. I like the way she worded this, saying that it's mainly a sharing of emotions because of their physical differences, which implies that if the physical differences weren't a problem, her and Rupert would be going to town. Oh Rupert my god. And I are friends. <laughs> We've hung out, we've had conversations, we've gone on trips together. How do you balance your friendship with Rupert without getting jealous? Because in the back of my mind, I know he's not real. Wow. That's what you want to say. That's what you want to say. But you're not saying it because you don't want this girl to leave you. No, you know he is not real. Bruh. Rupert is not real. Nobody knows Rupert. Rupert never existed. Rupert was never a person. Wow. Come on. Like, uh, somebody gotta say it. I was like, why are we just glossing over this? Like, why are we just like, you know, ignoring the fact that he's not real? Actually, let me not even speak on it for real because I mess around, turn around, Rupert would be standing right behind me, you know, ready to knock me off. Let me look. Nah, I wasn't nobody right there. <laughs> there is no jealousy. I have such respect for the work that was done, for the connection that they have. If anything, I feel like excitement and pride for the both of them. You went to him and you checked with him on things. I you, did. You told him your feelings for me before you told me. I did. All right, so I'm sort of tiptoeing here, so I'm going to try and say something without saying something. I'm glad these two found each other. I think it's pretty close to a miracle that these two were able to find each other and have a happy relationship. Now, is it a healthy relationship? Well, I think that's a pretty loaded question for all parties involved, but it's a miracle nonetheless. Yeah. Some of the comments we get are, you're crazy. They're letting everybody out of the asylums nowadays. <laughs> That's a really good story that you just made up. A lot of people are like, ah, oh, clearly she's lying, but I really enjoy the stories. Find Jesus. Accept him into your heart. All in caps. You're talking to demons. All ghosts are demons. The things that would make me go, no, would be people trying to pretend to be an internet expert about mental health and yeah. discerning that obviously, I must be, or you must have, schizophrenia because there's no way that this could be a thing that's happening. Yeah, okay, so internet armchair therapists are not great. Thanks. Nobody's gonna argue that. However, I think it's perfectly okay to point out that it's not exactly normal to think that you are seeing ghosts every single day of your life. And furthermore, I think that it is exceptionally normal to the point where I think it would be abnormal if you didn't say or think that having a relationship with a ghost was is weird. probably indicative of some sort of mental health concern. You yes. don't have to be an expert or board certified to point out extremely abnormal human behavior. Asleep in the arms of Jesus. I guess Jesus has a lot of arms. This is a good spot. So should we uh, take a check and see what's going on in my magic bag of tricks? Oh, did you, you brought things? I did. Okay. Hello. Hi. Who's in this space right now? No, like a physical like. Do y'all know how fake that is? Well, where did she get that? Amazon? Yes. Where did you get that from, ma'am? That bogus walkie-talkie. That like, who tricked you? Who scammed you? Like, how much did you spend on that? You got finessed. Like, and you're not just out here talking to ghosts. Everybody would have that if you could talk to ghosts. Like, why are you just special and have it? Like, it only works when it touches your hands? Come on, bro. No, I know a scam when I see one. If you go to any one of them graves, it would have said the exact same thing. The voice is not going to change. Why are y'all lying? Like, that's what I don't understand. That's what makes me mad, the fact that they lying. And another thing that just made me mad that I just noticed. Do y'all see this mole on her neck? Oh, my God.
Oh my god, that gotta be removed. Oh! Oh, like you wanna move? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Do you have. That's an earring. Oh. Have a, a direction that we should go? Feeling that way? Yeah, that's okay. what I'm feeling so. Too. It's kind of like a movie. Look, I try to keep a pretty open mind about things, but stuff like this is just a joke to me. Not only do I find this kind of disrespectful, just walking around on people's graves pretending yes. that you can talk to them, because the radio receiver you bought off Amazon is picking up random radio signals. Thanks. Which, if you didn't know, that's all a spirit box is. They're just accidentally tuning into random radio channels around the city they live in. For people to be able to trick themselves into thinking these very normal sentences that are obviously coming from a radio station are somehow ghosts talking to them. Kind of goes back to what we were just talking about. But the problem is you can't argue with these people because everything that they're doing is based off feeling. They think they're feeling some connection with this spirit and you can't prove that they're not. At the yeah. end of the day, it's really like talking to a conspiracy theorist. You either can't disprove what they're saying because there's no way to, or they either dismiss everything that you do say by asking you to bring forward impossible proof. Facts. I had a number of people try to contact me and say, Rupert's talking to me. And I'm like, no, he's not. And I'm concerned about who you're talking to. I honestly think this might be the craziest what? shit we've heard in this entire video so far. Yeah. How could you possibly know this, Rebecca? Are you some sort of omniscient being? Are you a god? You're sitting here whining about people not believing you and calling you crazy, but yet you do it when it comes to your boyfriend. This is- Exactly. Exactly, bro. She thinks she's the main character. Sorry, ma'am. You're not. This is not your origin story. We do not know about you. You have no powers. You don't. What? You're not Spider Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 it's nothing going on. Just live your life. This is weird. This is weird. Like, and then I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe if she enjoys it, you know, that's not my business. But as long as she's not trying to force it on everybody else. Like, if I went over there and she said, all right, take your shoes off and take your clothes off. We're about to pray to my demon ghost friends. Huh? I would have said no. And if she would have had a knife to my neck and said, no, you're going to do this. I would have been mad. So that was a crazy tangent that really don't got nothing to do with nothing. But I said it. This is insane. He has a light accent, though. It's not specifically the accent that we would associate with the English now, just because it's been <laughs> almost 300 years. This is an S-Box. It is one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I have. As it scans through radio signals, it's giving a white noise that they can either pull sound from to respond with using the radio signals coming through, or it'll come through the static. What do I have to do to get you to say something? <laughs> Hi, Rupert. Where are you sitting right now? On this chair. <laughs> That's not what he said. That was clearly some random country yeah. song coming through, and I don't know exactly what he did say, but he did not say on this chair. I know what English sounds like, and that was not a man saying on this chair. Also, it's kind of strange that a soldier from Wales who lived in the late 1700s kind of sounds like an American country singer. I wonder how <laughs> that is. What is his personality like? How would you describe him? Thoughtful and contemplative. Yes. He doesn't speak without thinking about it. A lot. You better get that stupid subtitle off my screen right now. You guys are smoking meth. I'm gonna play what they just played without any video. Let me know if you think this sounds like a person saying, sounds right. How do you feel about your- Nah, I'm not gonna lie. I heard hamburger. I, I ain't hear sounds right, bro. Like, it, it, like, what is this? Love Don't Judge? Jubilee? What is this? Truly? It's one of them. Um, why are y'all doing this? Why are y'all doing this? Y'all like, y'all know darn well. I know the producers were sitting back watching this like, hmm, these people are crazy. Bruh. And then go ahead and edit this video to make them look like they actually talking to these ghosts. No, they are not. That did not sound like sounds right. He said hamburger for sure. I know what a commercial sounds like. That was a hamburger commercial. Relationship with me. I love you. Is that what it that was? I think that's what it said. No, he didn't. That was very clearly a man saying, didn't you? And it sounded like a guitar strum afterwards. We might have been tuning back into that same country channel. Tricking yourself into believing stuff like this is actually happening around you is not healthy. That's great. <laughs> I'm appreciative. How do you feel about Catherine? You're fine. I heard fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, and the casing leader went on fine. fine. <laughs> how do you feel about how we get along? All of us. I'm fine. No. Yeah, I heard I'm fine. No. Oh my God, this is delusion. You are hearing snippets of unintelligible words and you're acting like you know exactly what they're saying. Again, I'm going to play the audio of what these two interpreted as I'm fine without a subtitle on the screen trying to influence you. <laughs> For our nah. purposes though, that's basically where the video ends. For the last minute or so, they talk about how much they love each other, and that's great and all, but uh, it doesn't change the fact that this shit is insane. Look, like I've always said, if you want to believe that you have a ghost boyfriend in the privacy of your own home, knock Go yourself ahead. out, who cares? But if you bring this stuff onto the internet, and especially if you try and monetize it, you're opening yourself up to criticism. And my very fair criticism of this situation is that it's crazy. Well, and guys, weird. what do you think? Am I going to be getting a visit from Rupert? tonight? Have I poked the bear? If you disagree with me, if you're really into this stuff and you fully believe that it's all real, that's fine. You should just know that, um, I'm right. And to prove <laughs> to you that I'm right, I'm willing to spend my own money to get a consultation from Rebecca herself. And she can tell me exactly what spooky specters are living amongst me. If you oh. want to see me do that, I'm going to put a poll on my community tab when this video goes live, and the choice will be yours. I'm willing to put my beliefs to the test. Are you? If you enjoyed this video, please leave it. Wow. I'm probably I'm not gonna press that poll button because if Rupert is real, I don't want no problems. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rupert, how am I supposed to know you're real? Actually, I don't want to know you're real. Let me just believe you're not real. So just go ahead, stay over there with that lady, you know, if you are real. But if you're not, this lady is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, it's something wrong with these people, dude. Like, 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 I agree with what he said 100%. Like, it's not a problem if it's in the confidines. What? That's a word. Is it? No. If it just stays in your home, that's one thing. But when you're bringing it out to everybody else and then cry about the criticism, I like, I just hate when people do that. Like, dude, it's not like we going out of our way to, to just find you and hate on you. You're pushing yourself out there and then, you know, they hating, you know that, that that's what comes with the internet. You put something out there, they gonna hate regardless. It don't matter what you do. You like you can put something out there amazing, they still gonna hate. That just is that's what it is, what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's life. Like I don't know like how to explain it to you. And the people that be so butthurt over it talking about it, oh my god, I can't handle the hate. I'm gonna crash out. Rupert, let's go kill them. You know, like mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like those people be crazy. So like, like you said, what y'all think about this? Do y'all think she's actually dating a ghost? Me personally, I don't think so. You know, based on the evidence I've seen today, it seems very unlikely. They just are crazy. They jumped off the deep end. They want to believe what they want to believe. And that's a scary world. People just going to believe whatever they want to believe and ignore the truth. I mean, hey, it is what it is. Like, hey, I'm going to just stay in my bubble mind my business and live my life so like i said let me know how y'all feel down below in the comments and i don't know if you enjoyed the video too much to subscribe we don't know what a 10,000 subscribers and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video because it just makes sense to like but if you like the video no it don't make sense it don't make sense to the like button right but this ghost lady makes sense oh oh now i caught you in dumb a dumb situation you can believe in ghosts but i can't believe in like hitting a like button makes sense where are we going with it